Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is currently 7.30 in the morning, so please excuse the mess. I was not about to do a full beat for uh, YouTube. But anyway, I just wanted to jump on here because today I'm gonna to be starting a new series called Cooking Something New with Jasmine. So I'm really excited about this because since I became a wife or since I got married, I've been having to obviously cook dinner because now I gotta feed myself. It's not like, oh mom, what's for dinner anymore? I wish it was, but it's not. I now have to be responsible for feeding myself. So I've been cooking dinner a lot more, but I've also been cooking a lot of new dishes. So when I lived with my mom, really all I knew how to cook was sopa, obviously like hamburger helper, like mac and cheese, like all the basics I needed to survive, I knew how to make. But um, since I've been home, I've been like cooking a lot more since I've been at my own place. Like I've made albondigas, enchiladas, I perfected rice and I'm not even being dramatic, I perfected it. Um, I've made like baked ziti, baked spaghetti, like I've just made a ton of stuff that I'm like, wow, I didn't know I could cook like this. And what's crazy is I don't go off of like a recipe, I kind of just been figuring it out, like trying to learn. So yeah, it's been really exciting. So today I'm going to be making tacos de viria de res. So it's basically viria tacos with beef instead of goat because normally it's with goat meat, but I'm not doing all that today i'm just gonna do regular beef um so that's what i'm gonna be doing today and if you guys have any other dishes that you think i should try or cook next episode please comment that down below also so i'm really excited to start this one because i see them all over instagram all over tiktok all over and i'm like i want to try those so bad so i finally decided i'm gonna just make them um and then like I said earlier, I don't really go off of a recipe, so I basically just Pinterest the ingredients and I'm going to go off that. So I'm kind of creating how I think it's supposed to be done in my head. So we'll see how that goes. But luckily I have a friend who loves these kind of tacos and she's coming over for dinner tonight so she can critique them. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys what we need to do first. So what I'm going to start off with is my beef so i just got a beef london broil don't know what it is but it was on sale so that's what i got so i got a, that i'm gonna put it in my crock pot cut it open. and this is why i'm doing it so early because i'm putting the meat in the crock pot i know traditionally just whoa, from like the way my mom makes like pozole or basically anything, she puts the meat in a big pot. But I just wanted to put it in a crock pot because I love my crock pot and I actually don't own a big pot like that, like a mini pot. So, just gonna get my beef, put it in there. Um, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn the crock pot onto high because I want it to cook a little bit faster. If I could have it by early dinner time, that's when I wanna eat it. So I'm just gonna put the meat in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of water. So this is about 16 ounces of water I'm gonna throw in there. Actually, and another 16 ounces. And I'm just making it more watery um, because later is when I'm going to start to add like the paste to make it like the red juice and all that stuff. Now I'm going to be adding some garlic powder and I'm very generous with my seasoning. So I'll just add some garlic powder, of course some salt. I am a salty person so I'm also generous with salt but of course, everything's like to your liking. So if you're a fan of garlic, throw in a little bit more garlic. If you don't want so much salt, just throw in a pinch. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of black pepper. I don't know if this is normal, but I just love black pepper. And I'm not doing too much. I'm literally just doing a couple sprinkles, just like that. 
And then I'm also gonna be adding some oregano. So I'll just sprinkle that. And oregano is such like a, it has such a strong taste to it. So I'm not gonna go too crazy. I just want it to be enough for flavor. Now I'm just gonna cover it. Literally just like that. And then I'll probably come check on it in a couple hours to see where it's at. That way I can, once the meat gets a little bit more cooked, like a little thawed out, I'm gonna cut it into a couple pieces. So maybe four or five, just so when it's time to shred, it's a lot easier. So yeah, once I get to there, I will bring you guys back. Welcome back. So it is now nine, or I'm sorry, it's now 10.30. So I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, it smells so good. This is what it's looking like. I just cut it into three pieces. Again, it's so it's easier just easier to shred and it cooks a little faster. Okay guys, so it is now 318. We're back. And I'm gonna start to boil the chilies and stuff. That way I can make I guess the sauce that goes into the broth and the beef um it's gonna be what's called the consomme so we can eat with the tacos it's basically like beef chili broth i guess so that's what i'm gonna make so to start off i'm just gonna get a pan a pot like this i'm gonna fill it up with some water so this is two cups and we're probably gonna use i'm gonna say like at least 10 cups so i'm gonna fill it up and i'll be right back okay so I actually did 12 cups just to be sure I have enough water in there. So I put 12 cups of water. I'm gonna let that boil for a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna talk about what's gonna go in there. Okay, so first we'll do chilies. So you're gonna wanna do a bag. This is actually a smaller bag, but it's the New Mexico chili pods. So they're just dried up chilies like that. So you're gonna need a bag of those. You won't need a whole bag of the chili, the Ardeboy, but you're gonna need a couple of these. So just like that. You also will need dried bay leaves. You're going to need onion, tomato, and then of course seasoning. And seasoning, of course, is what you'd like. So I'm just gonna probably boil those like that with just some salt, garlic, and um, maybe oregano, that's it. Um, so I'm gonna put all those in the pot and I'll be right back. I actually forgot to mention this, but when you're doing the, the New Mexico chilies, you actually wanna take the top off and then just take out all the seeds. And I'm just gonna let that simmer. So this is what it's gonna look like just like and then let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll come back and then do what's I'm going to shred it and I'm just gonna use a whisk to shred it because to me it's easier so you literally just shred it okay so what I'm gonna do now is just get oh, that's about a cup and then pour it in my crock pot so it can sit with the meat. I'm actually gonna do two cups. So just like that. Okay, so now that the chilies are done, what we're gonna do is literally take everything that's in that pot, transfer it into our measuring cup. Okay. So once we have everything in our cup, we're gonna go ahead and transfer into our blender. So now we're just going to put everything that we took out of the pot into the blender. Just like that. And then we're gonna now get some of the juice that was in the pot back in the blender. So we're gonna start off with two cups. I'm just gonna add a little bit of bouillon tomato so just put a dash in there i'm gonna add a little bit more garlic as much as i do and then just a little bit of onion powder just literally like that much i'm gonna do just a dash of salt and then just 
a couple sprinkles of black pepper. So I'm gonna blend this up. Now it's gonna have this type of consistency. So it's almost like a paste, but not so thick. So once you have that done, we're just gonna throw it in the crock pot and it sit together. So just like that. And we also don't want it to get, get thick like our chili. So I'm gonna put the rest of the water from the pot into the crock pot so it can sit like that. Okay guys, so now we are finally <laughs> oh, okay, Ma and my mom came to do the last part of the clip, but now we're gonna finally start to making the tacos. So the thing is gonna be super simple. I just put my pan on medium, put a little bit of oil, and now I'm gonna get my tortilla, just dip it very quickly in the juice, let it fry a little bit. Add our cheese, and you can be as generous as you want. Just like that. And then we add our meat. I probably It probably would have been easier if you take your meat out and have it like on a separate bowl. And then just, oh shoot. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. So then that's it. So I'll come back in once I finish finding them so we can do a taste test. So here is the end result. What did you think? Dan Dan? Pretty good. So that's how I made the tacos. They were actually a lot more simpler than I thought. So if you guys try it, let me know or comment down below. And again, I'm going to be starting this series. So if you have any recipes you think I should try or experiment with, let, let me know.